substitution. Substitution basically means to substitute uh, numbers in place of pronumerals or letters. Okay, now before we get into that, we'll soon do example one, just a couple of pointers. Whenever you see a number next to a pronumeral, that actually means they're being multiplied by each other. There's actually like a hidden times between the two and the a. And fractions, like two over a, is the same as saying two divide a. If you can remember these two pointers, hopefully everything else should go quite fine. For instance, if I look at question a in example one, this is really two times a minus b. Now to evaluate the following question, we need to know what a, b and c represent. And a represents 5, so we're going to substitute a with 5, and we're going to substitute 2 for b, since b equals 2. Now we can work it out, 2 times 5 is 10 minus 2, 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay, let's move on to question b now, and we'll write our multiplication in place, so it's 3 times a squared minus 5 times b. Remembering that numbers next to pronumerals have hidden multiplication between them. Now we're going to substitute. We said before a was 5 and b is 2. All right. Now to work this out you can just use a calculator. Um, if you're not, if you're just going to do it in your head, the very first thing you always do is you do your powers first. So 5 squared is 25. We always do powers before we multiply. Okay, 3 times 25 is 75, and 5 times 2 is 10. Remembering that we always multiply before we subtract. And 75 minus 10 is 65. 